So recently, there's been a lot of talk um, about hybrid turbo versus big turbo. And, um, you know, as you guys know, I'm a huge supporter of the hybrid turbo. I'm a huge supporter of any aftermarket turbo on the Focus ST, but I really like my hybrid turbo. So I paired up with my buddy, um, who has a big turbo, to make this video to better explain to people the differences between the hybrid turbo and the bigger turbo options out there and why you would go, you know, you would choose one or the other. So me and my buddy's cars are almost twins when it comes to mods. Um, we both have upgraded intercoolers. Uh, he's got the engine intake. I have the AFE Takeda intake. Uh, he's got Rota Strikes in 18 by 9.5 plus 38. I have Rota KBRs by 18 uh, by 9.5 plus 38. Um, I've got a upgraded 3-inch exhaust system. He's got the same 3-inch exhaust. We both have downpipes. Uh, let's see, even down to the hood struts. <laughs> Our hood struts are the same. So, you know, this is a good baseline for a test. Um, you know, so the argument really comes down to what do you want out of the car? How far are you willing to go? You know, exactly what are you willing to put up with um, on your daily to get what you need out of the motor? And what can the stock 2.0 EcoBoost handle? Hey, what's up guys? So when it comes to which turbo you should put on your Focus ST, it boils down to essentially two things, and that's your power goals and your budget. So as far as a hybrid turbo or a smaller upgraded turbo, those turbos are going to be for people who daily drive their cars, who, you know, want a significant increase from the factory, but nothing crazy, something that's very street friendly good for autocross, track days, hitting the back roads, um, you know, and something also affordable. So that is what, you know, appeals people and appeal to me about the uh, hybrid turbo, you know, but for the guys or gals who want to, uh, you know, say go and do the uh, a half mile race or a, 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 an entire standing mile race um, and who aren't too worried about top uh, about a uh, mid-range or bottom end because they're going to make it up on the back end with top end those type of people go for the uh 2867 turbos or higher you know they'll give you that big top end but you're going to sacrifice some mid-range and low end um unless you're running uh you know an ethanol blend with ox fuel now let's talk about the budget piece okay so the hybrid turbo cost me less than a thousand dollars. It actually cost me less than nine hundred dollars. Okay, and that's with me supplying my turbo to Turbo Bay Performance. Not only that, but the hybrid turbo bolts onto the stock location. It can use the stock bypass valve and the stock wastegate. So that saves you a lot of money right there. When we talk about an ATP twenty eight sixty seven. Um, or similar type of turbo Just the turbo in itself. Um, I mean they range anywhere from 1600 bucks to you know, basically 
twenty-three or twenty-four hundred dollars, and that's before the cost of uh, auxiliary fuel, which is another thousand dollars, which you really need to get the most out of that turbo. Um, and that's before the cost of an aftermarket wastegate and an aftermarket uh, blowout valve because you cannot run a bypass valve on those turbos. Okay, so right there you're looking at close to four thousand dollars in a turbo setup versus probably a little bit over a thousand dollars once it's all said and done with a hybrid turbo so that's why i say that power goals and budget you really have to take that into consideration what are you really going to be using the car for you know is it really worth um the money etc to some people it is and hey more power to you to other people you know their car serves as a daily driver and a weekend racer, so they need a uh, you know a balance. You know what I'm saying. So for me, the hybrid turbo was you know the perfect middle ground, uh, not expensive at all, but it delivers the power that I need, and I still have room to grow. I'm just on a 93 uh, octane tune, running 23 psi, uh, so that gives that that means I have a lot of room to grow. So I can go to an ethanol tune. I can put ox fuel if I want to. You know, there's there's Anything you can do to a big turbo, you can do to a hybrid turbo, essentially. Obviously, a big turbo at the end of the day is going to make way more power, and that's why it's a bigger turbo and it costs more. However, you got to decide, am I going to use that power? Is it worth the trade-off? You know, is, is, is it worth the trade-off money-wise, budget-wise, and is it worth the trade-off when it comes to drivability and all those other things? One thing I want to hit on, though, before the end of the video, guys, is we didn't talk about the EFR turbos because there are other options just besides the ATP and the hybrid. Borg Warner, who if you guys don't know, they're the manufacturer of the stock turbo. Borg Warner makes the EFR series, which is basically an upgraded uh, version. Uh, not, not an upgraded version, but just a, uh, it's a similar design to the stock turbo, but obviously bigger. Those turbos are awesome. Borg Warner, in my opinion, makes the best turbos, period. Um, and they offer the EFR designs in several different configurations for the Focus ST and the 2.0 EcoBoost. I would highly suggest, if you're going to go with a big turbo, I'd highly suggest a Borg Warner turbo. But then again, it does, uh, it does kind of compromise, or not compromise, but it, it does kind of take away from that, that budget block. Borg Warner turbos are very expensive. Okay, they're very proud of their turbos. So you're looking at, you know, $2,400. Uh, with the full kit so which is almost three times the price of a hybrid turbo which is also a Borg Warner um, so you know that's just stuff to take into consideration guys um, you know you guys know where to find me Facebook Instagram YouTube got any questions let me know uh, if you got comments you know want to talk about XYZ uh, just just leave that below the comment section is its own entity so until next time I'll see you guys later Think about those turbos, right?